Are you looking to find a proper, more effective way of wearing a face mask? Well, look no further. Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm a board certified internal medicine physician in Canada, and I wanna give you a little clarity on face masks. We're living through a tough time with this coronavirus, and face masks have now become a way of life. Over the last few months, there was a lot of debate over these masks on whether we should be wearing them, the type of mask that should be worn, and whether or not they were even that effective. But now more recently, it has been recommended that everyone wear a face mask or some type of face covering whenever they're running essential errands such as going to the grocery store or pharmacy. I was at the store the other day, and I saw a lot of people wearing face masks. Some were medical grade, some were homemade, and honestly, it was quite alarming. Let me show you what I mean. The first person I'd like to call the talker. The talker is someone who is wearing a mask, but they're continuously removing it every time they need to speak, allowing contamination as they touch their mask. The second person is the muncher. And the muncher is someone who's obviously very hungry because they feel the need to eat or drink while wearing the mask, lifting it up in between for every bite. This not only allows contamination of their hands, but they're also allowing these contaminants to get into their mouth. The third person is the fidgeter. And the fidgeter is someone who, although maybe wearing a mask correctly, they're continuously touching it, adjusting it, fixing it, and touching their hair in the process, as well as touching other things in their surrounding, causing contamination as they're not washing their hands in between. And finally, there's the half on, half off. And that's someone who's wearing a mask that covers their mouth, but is leaving their nose completely exposed, basically making this mask completely ineffective. Now I'm gonna give you a little demonstration on how you should properly wear a face mask in order to protect yourself from viral pathogens. Clean your hands with either soap or hand sanitizer. Pick up your mask. I'll be using a surgical mask to demonstrate with a metal bar and elastic ear bands. Place the elastic bands behind your ears. Pull the lower portion of the mask under your chin. Then press the metal bar to mold the mask over the bridge of your nose. This will secure the mask in place to cover both your mouth and nose. Prior to removing the mask, make sure you wash your hands again. I'm using hand sanitizer on this round. Now I'll be using a paper bag to store my mask. Normally we would throw the mask in the garbage, but currently we have limited resources and must preserve our mask for longer periods of time. When removing the mask, only touch the elastic bands behind your ears, as this part is not contaminated. You want to use a paper bag to store your mask because plastic has a tendency to grow bacteria. Always label your paper bag with your name to ensure that it doesn't get mixed up, especially if you live in a household with multiple people. Finally, re-sanitize your hands to ensure there was no transfer of contaminants after putting away your mask. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wearing a face mask right now is so important to reduce the spread of viral particles, which will help us flatten that curve and end this pandemic. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and click that red button to subscribe to my channel. Also, comment down below to let me know other video ideas that you'd like to see from me in the future. Until then, stay healthy and be happy.